Nevin Shapiro spent nine years as UM football's number one booster, but today sits in an Atlanta prison, convicted for his role in a massive $900 million Ponzi scheme. In a telephone interview with CBS4 sports anchor Jim Barry, Shapiro says he showered UM players with gifts and benefits. There are people within that university program that were not only not, that that not only had knowledge, but were involved. Co-conspirators. Shapiro is now giving the NCAA what he calls a tsunami of evidence, claiming he spent thousands of dollars on current and former players. Not my problem anymore. A Yahoo Sports investigation published Tuesday says at least 72 athletes were involved in an eight-year run of rampant NCAA rule-breaking. Shapiro has said he bought players things like clothing, jewelry, and access to his yacht. The Yahoo report says he even paid for prostitutes and on one occasion, an abortion. When a guy pays for an abortion, you know, for, for a player, I had never heard of anything like that in my life. New coach Al Golden says he was blindsided by the allegations. Clearly, uh, we don't need these types of things, you know, to be a great team. The statement, UM says it is fully cooperating with the NCAA. The school says it takes these matters very seriously. Meanwhile, Shapiro is now serving a 20-year prison term, but thinks UM football's punishment will be worse. I can tell you what I think is going to happen. Death penalty. Meaning he thinks the program could be shut down. Now, the NCAA was reportedly on campus this week, but Shapiro's attorney says the association has been looking into UM for months. Shapiro says he is speaking out because he thinks the players and coaches abandoned him when he went to prison for the Ponzi scheme.